with roles in Keeping Up with the Joneses, Spider-Man Homecoming, Gifted, Being Mary Jane, and Halt and Catch Fire, she is one of a small handful of Asian actresses making waves in Hollywood. And I'm delighted to have her on the show and also to know her as a friend. Please welcome Jonah Xiao. Thanks for having me, Lawrence. <laughs> it's <Chow>. awesome. <laughs> I love that. We're like brother and sister, but... Almost. <laughs> Jonah, mm -hmm. I've known you for quite a while, but yeah, suddenly, yeah. suddenly you've caught fire of late on screen. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> what sparked it? What lit the spark? It seems all of a sudden you're getting all these roles now. It feels like that. Oh shit! You okay? You know, it's interesting. I think um, it's it's easy to look at, like especially this past year, I'm really grateful for the amazing projects I've gotten to work on with amazing people. And what it is, I feel like, is just the consistency of the things I'd done previously in terms of building certain relationships, um, really getting a strong team behind me um, that really believes in me, and they've been phenomenal. So my team of reps has been incredible. Um, and just over the years, like I've, been working pretty steadily, but this past year has been like definitely a breakthrough year for me. And I think f what I've noticed is a lot of actors, um, when it comes to their team of reps and their support team and the people that believe in them and their family and friends, like that is so important, like the environment that you're in. And for me, I really focused on um, that environment so that there is that support system because I firmly believe successful people do it themselves but never alone. Well, let's talk about three of your breakthrough movies. Sure. Uh, Keeping Up with the Joneses, starring John Hamm, Zach Galifianakis, um, Isla Fisher, and Gal Gadot. Yes. That's crazy. It's an amazing cast. <laughs> and you're in it. Thank you. I remember sitting in the green room and I was like, <laughs> exactly, you know, those actors and Mary Beth Moore and just. And I was like, wow. <laughs> you said John oh. Hamm was very supportive of you. He, yeah. he guided, he you know, gave some friendly advice. He, so John Hamm, we're, we're both from St. Louis, Missouri. Right. So that's where um, I grew up and he lived for many years and he was a teacher over there. And he was just very encouraging and just, I think more than anything, just the, not only the caliber of actors um, and the director, Greg Matola, was just how down to earth they were and willing to be like a team player. Um, and just it just made the whole experience really fun. Like uh, Zach and John would play Scrabble yeah. in between takes, like this competitive Scrabble Which game. Which you love. I love games. I love board <laughs> games. So, <laughs> so John, Zach, if you ever want to play board games, hit your girl Jonah up. <laughs> they didn't invite you. Well, they they already started, and so oh, okay. I I was just guys are really watching. competitive. <laughs> So am I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about your next big breakthrough movie, which is, wow, Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> okay, I, first, when you got the confirmation, did you do the Holy Ghost dance? I, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I usually go through like shock, and then like, it takes a little while to set in, and then I start screaming. Um, I feel bad for my neighbors downstairs, <laughs> so I start screaming. Um, and sometimes I do like a happy dance, like one of these things. <laughs> how, how many times did you have to audition? Um, not many, actually. It was a pretty. Qu uh, I had auditioned a while back, and then I didn't hear anything for a while, and then um, like it was actually like a few months later where I found out that they were offering me the role and I, I first was like, wait, what? Wait, wait, oh, oh, <laughs> again, it was like, huh? <laughs> confusion, confusion, shock, oh my gosh, screaming. I so, love it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well done, congratulations. Thank you, okay, Thank I you. know Spider-Man is top, super top secret. These yes. major blockbusters always are. Uh -huh. Especially um, Marvel. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell me about the movie or your role? Sure, so I'm not supposed to reveal anything about like storyline and things like that, but I mean, the trailer just recently dropped, which is really exciting. So you get to see a very youthful teenage Spider-Man coming into his powers, and it's very much like a coming of age story. And uh, so if you saw like Captain America, that kind of snarky, sarcastic, fun character, that's, uh, that's who we have, Tom Holland as Spider-Man. And uh, what I can say is, one of my favorite actors of all time actually helped cast me in my role. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So who who is? I don't know. Can if you I can say it? 
Uh, <laughs> one, okay. of, one of the one of the stars of the Spider Man. I, I had to bet Michael Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I used to play poker. I should like. Poker hey, it's me talking. It's not. Jonah. <laughs> it's not Jonah. Okay, that's awesome. It's gonna be epic. Awesome. Go see it. <laughs> For sure, I'm a huge Marvel fan. Yeah, their um, films are amazing. They're and speaking about Marvel, um, there's another actor we all know as Captain America, Chris Evans, mm-hmm. and he's going to be in a drama called Gifted. Yes. And you're in that too. Yeah, it's kind of a. It was crazy. <laughs> the um, one of my favorite directors, uh, Mark Webb, he directed um, 500 Days of Summer, and he directed um, The Amazing Spider-Man too. So it was kind of this... Full circle And now moment. I'm in a show called Being Mary Jane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything points to Spider-Man in some way. Uh, so, yeah, getting to work with Chris was awesome. Um, he, it's gifted as a drama about, like, a very super smart prod- prodigal, uh, his daughter, and just how to raise her and do you expose her to a society that might just exploit her, how do you Yeah, because um, she's very gifted that? and she's being courted Hence by the these elite yep. schools and Chris is torn between letting her go or well, keeping her. Right, like basically keeping her talents um, more like hush-hush or really exposing her to like possibly experiments and um, her grandmother, his mother, uh, his, uh, is essentially his mother, um, they have basically very different opinions on how she should be raised. What was that working like with um, Chris Evans? and? He's, I feel like even more attractive in person than he is on screen, which I didn't think was possible. That kills me. To hear things <laughs> like that some, kills me. <laughs> but somehow he made it happen. So uh, we were shooting at uh, Georgetown, uh, George, Georgia Tech. Oh man, it was a big university. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 this really gorgeous campus. And like uh, we were doing, uh, like I was around for the like uh, this um, like college yeah. sequence essentially. And just seeing like people like walk by and ogle him was pretty entertaining. <laughs> <laughs>